to earlier in the season, Terry, isn't it? Well, we will see. Well, it's a decade ago. When Zinedine Zidane was accused of scratching the face of Luis Enrique. There's a foot in the way there from the World Cup winners. The World Player of the Year there. Alves to Messi. Neymar. There's been a shuffling of the cards from Luis Enrique. Messi has the freedom of the Camp Nou. Rakitic. Strong defending from Modric. Ramos' movement was that Suarez couldn't have been offside from a goal kick off the floor. It had been at the goalkeeper's hands. Every week, it seems, we're rewriting the history books. Another milestone for Messi. Stop. Messi. Or oh, a little touch from Suarez. The referee tried to play the advantage. On to view, which is a rather obscured one. It's Messi! It was close, it was mightily close. I think Kaylan Neves moves across the six yard box swiftly and probably has it covered if it is on target. And Messi curls it just over the crossbar. Gerard Piquet. You can't pin little Messi down to a position, can you? Be interesting to see his heat map. 20 minutes have passed. A couple of yellow cards, one notable chance so far. Movement of workspace for Lionel Messi. The magic wand not to, to PK. Messi. A wasteful pass from Bale. Here's the trident. Messi. Neymar to the left of him. Suarez to the right of him. It was a rash challenge from Ramos. You can see Messi break into the box. Oh, Ramos makes no contact with the ball. Sticks a leg out. Messi goes flying, goes into the penalty box. Looks a foul to me. I can hear the Real Madrid supporters at home saying that Messi started to take flight before there was a connection. I can hear the Barcelona supporters saying that it was a stonewall penalty. Oh, it's a foul. I think it's outside the box. Ramos gets away with it because he points to the ball. From reflection, maybe the only consideration was it inside or out. Yep. And that's the situation we'll have to assess next. Coach Ramos already being booked as well. Now Neymar. Casemiro launches himself at Lionel Messi. Well, there are many great things about the Clasico, and so much we admire about Spanish football. But the unnecessary theatrics do occasionally spoil. Why Busquets is there to stem the flow of the opposition. Messi. Now Neymar. Down really quickly, but just takes a touch. Moves the ball on, starts another attack for Barcelona. Messi. It's like a game of footballing chess at the moment, isn't it? Who will make the killer move? Referee allowing a bit of rough and tumble. Picked up by Alves. Messi. Sometimes we call them the Harlem Globetrotters of football, these players, but they're certainly Globetrotters. They've gone to all corners of the world to represent their nations this week, Terry. I think what we've seen so far in the game is that teams with two teams with different styles. We were wondering if we would see the, the future style of Real Madrid in Real Madrid. Quite content to drop deep. Collision with the, the knees there from Casemiro and you know Messi. <laughs> you don't have to go through them. Now. We don't have time. But interestingly, they uh, did manage to separate Laporta and Rossell, who don't get on. Josep. Uh, Luis Nunes is in there as well, on the blind side is Jordi Alba, 
He's looking the greatest of form. Ronaldo and Gareth Bale have provided the threat from wide positions. Iniesta. Now Neymar. Iniesta takes the eye of the defenders. Wasteful pass, but on the end of it is Alves! Lionel Messi has been a bit part player in this game. This evening, so far, tamed. This is a game that splits the globe, splits the nation. There's Lionel Messi, Neymar, Barcelona immediately onto the front foot. Lionel Messi teases the ball in, or it's a bit of confusion among. It's Lionel Messi. It's not accurate. He's seeking his 500th goal in his professional career. His 450th for Barcelona. He's already the all-time scorer in Clásicos. This will be the reason for the raising tempo from Barcelona with their passing. Zinedine Zidane spent some time in Italian football. He's clearly learned a thing or two about setting up a team defensively here. And there's little Messi. Neymar, shooting opportunity. Steadies himself, he's closed down. Messi finds an inch. Gareth Bale tries to sweep it. It's a game which requires no hype whatsoever. And this evening it's one for the footballing purists. What's a great ball through from Messi. Suarez slow trying to get out. There's Iniesta to Lionel Messi. Neymar. Messi. Messi, a little bit of afters there, referee plays that advantage to Barcelona. It's Suarez, it's Messi, only needs an inch. A bit of genius from Lionel Messi. But equal by the save of the flying Kevin in Alice. But it all starts with the aggression and determined play of Luis Suarez. Deep in his own half. And it ends up with a delightful chip from Lionel Messi. And so Forge touched as well, just to tip it round the post. The one moment of genius we've seen in the game so far. There's a man who scored two hat-tricks in this fixture, seven years apart. Ramos, look at this, absolutely brilliant from Messi. Top class, top corner keeping from Kayla Navas. The man who thought he was heading to Manchester United earlier in the season, until the fax machine prevented David De Gea's documents reaching uh, the necessary bodies. Neymar's cross, more players down in the area, Carver Haaland. Sergio Ramos play gets it in the second one. Obviously <laughs> giving Pepe a taste of his own medicine there. The greater mental strength. Balls ahead of PK! Mental strength by ideologies and politics, and there is a man who embodies Catalonia. Gerard Piquet was asked whether he'd like to be the manager of Barcelona one day, he said. Atletico won earlier today, and they're in the best place. Casemiro in midfield, which allowed Tony Kroos to move to the mechanics of his team. Lionel Messi. Fanciful flick to Suarez, trying to find Messi. Ramos, Cristiano Ronaldo's hand. There's Modric. It's an awkward one for Zidane, too. He takes Casemiro off, takes off the holding midfield player, moves Tony Kroos back into a defensive position to get back into the game. But at the moment, I still think it's delicately poised. I think Real Madrid... Busquets. Messi. No credit to Zidane and his players for sticking to the task. Here is Neymar. All for once, he's squirmed away from Pepe and Carvajal. With a pass there, they are just a shade ahead of Sergio Ramos, the deepest Real Madrid defender. Oh, 
Alves to Messi. For Dani Alves. Now Messi. Good defending by Carvajal. Thing the reserve for the champions in Champions League, should I say, midweek. Neither manager at the moment considering alterations, sticking to plan A. Messi. Messi to Suarez. Oh, and almost from Neymar. Much to the amusement of the passer supporters. Messi. Iniesta. Game of cat and mouse. Neymar. Made an impact at Barcelona, but scoring a goal in a classic over to main a massive. Turn to Iniesta. It's like they've uh, just shuffled things around with Iniesta coming to. Just gets Messi. Messi caught by Dani Alves. Messi. Oh, flips the ball brilliantly into the path of Suarez. It's a wonderful pass from Lionel Messi. And the chance is there. Maybe Suarez doesn't. And maybe as he disappears down the tunnel, Real Madrid's chances of catching Barcelona in the title chase go as well. Suarez is going to revel in the extra space afforded to him now. We've got Nacho on the bench. To Cristiano Ronaldo, who is stealing the spotlight on Lionel Messi's stage. Number one, two with Iniesta. Neymar plays it back to Messi. Messi tries to get the black from Iniesta. Carver Howell digs in. Arda Turan to Lionel Messi. Messi, excellent defending from Casemiro, who's playing the dual role now. Unrest from the home supporters. They want something special. Busquets, Jordi Alba, Neymar lets it go, Arda Turan had his moment, and it's a Clásico that has had everything, handshakes in the president's box, we've had a red card, we've had a goal of power from PK, brilliance from Benzema, and a winner from Cristiano Ronaldo, it is one particular fixture.